from the San Joaquin Valley in Southern California, welcome to the Fresno Open $70,000 Bowling Classic live today here on a special edition of the CBS Sports Spectacular. Mark Roth fired a 300 in the position round game, moving from seventh to fifth and earning a point against John Guppy Troop. And when that was over in that first elimination game, Troop defeated Roth in the final frame, 256-255. Then in round two, Troop was extended into extra fames, and he came up on top of Mike Durbin. They were 268 at the end of 10 regulation frames. Right, Ken, and Guppy Chook threw three excellent shots in that tiebreaker, beating Mike Durbin 50 to 38. But Sam Flanagan, who hasn't won since 75, came through to finally stop Stymie Guppy Troop 222 to 209. And so for the finals, it will be Sam Flanagan to face the legend of bowling. This is he, Earl Anthony, going for his 32nd PBA win. Right, and he's had five seconds this year, and talking with Earl before the telecast today, he wants to win. He doesn't want to get that label of being Mr. Second. The first frame will be bowled by Earl Anthony. And with this contest, he will move over $700,000 in career earnings. <laughs> Fresno Open is underway in the finals. Anthony strikes. Right, and we've had so many strikes thrown out there today. Mark Roth, 256, losing. Uh, Guppy Troop, 268. Mike Durbin, tie. And we said at the top of the show, one little waiver in concentration, and it can be over. And that's exactly what happened to Guppy Troop the last game against this man, Sam Flanagan. A very careful, slow bowler from Parkersburg, West Virginia. Sam Flanagan addresses lane 22. His first ball. Sam is definitely a very patient player. Doesn't want to rush the shot. Doesn't want to make that mistake, especially against Earl Anthony. Flanagan strikes. Ready for his second frame. Look at the style of Sam Flanagan. Very patient, very smooth, very deliberate, real easy to push away, and great extension with those long arms. Last win, Sacramento 75. He is the Iron Man of the Tour. Sam is bowling in his 229th consecutive National PBA Tour event. That's an all-time record. It certainly is. I have trouble bowling in more than five in a row. 229, I don't know how he can do it. He's only won one title. Sam Flanagan. Keeps it together. That's right. And he's going to try and get the heat on Earl Anthony as fast as he can. Get out of the gate. Get as many strikes early as you possibly can and keep Earl pushing. Hope that Earl pushes a little bit too hard and makes that one critical mistake. So Earl Anthony is now ready for his second frame. This is the precision bombardier target right accurate every time pinpoint kind of player and we stay even through two frames and you can see earl has a slightly crooked elbow but the extension and the grace with which he delivers that bowling ball just and you mentioned earlier just true accuracy on almost every shot he's overthrown $70,000 up for grabs today. Earl Anthony looking for that first prize once again. A man who had a heart attack a year ago. And boy, if there's one game that can give you a heart attack, it's this one. Right, it takes a lot of concentration and it's very, very nerve wracking when your opponent keeps throwing strikes. There's no defense. Ah, Anthony. That's gonna be the thing today. If Earl Anthony can carry the seven pin, he will win. If he can't carry the seven pin, he is going down to defeat for the sixth time this year. Seven pin standing, working on a spare. Earl Anthony, there you see the prize money for the top five in this tournament. PBA Tour on its summer tour next week, live the Southern California from the greater Los Angeles area. There's the spare. His career earnings at $174,000, 42nd overall in career earnings. 
you see a great difference in career earnings and a great difference in the amount of championships. But in a one game match, it doesn't make any difference who you play out here in this PBA tour. They're all out here, they're all good, and they can beat you at any time they choose. You've won 18 times. What do you think about right here? You think about your game, nothing else. Earl Anthony made a little mistake, a little too much speed, didn't get the seven down. Sam Flanagan can get him down to 21 pins in a real hurry with two strikes here. Scoring the 36-year-old bachelor with still another strike. And he's up by 11. You can see the power in that ball just pushed every pin clear off the pin deck. There was nothing standing around, nothing laying around anywhere. Flanagan versus Earl Anthony here in the $70,000 Fresno Open on the CBS Sports Spectacular today. Later today, Frank Cherkinian and company with top golf coverage of the Western Open from Chicago. Don't miss it. Upcoming right after this event, live on CBS. This shot here will put Sam Flanagan 21 pins ahead with a strike. And that's the only way to surely beat Earl Anthony is to continue striking. Continue striking. Anthony style is so slow, so precise. Does that take away from the other player? Earl Anthony will be there when this match is over. You can bet on that. You are watching Kent Washington's Earl Anthony going into his fourth frame in the $70,000 Fresno Open on CBS Live here today. Anthony, the favorite. The hard way, Dave Davis. That's when coming out of that commercial break we had, you sit on that bench a little bit, you get a little bit stiff, and you can see this ball hit directly on the nose. And fortunately for Earl, that pin laid right in between the six and ten. Earl Anthony trailing Flanagan, trying to gain some ground after Earl Anthony had started out with uh, two strikes, then picked up a spare, leaving the seven pin in the third frame. In the fourth frame with a strike, and now in his fifth frame. And he leaves, the, he picks up the seventh pin. Well, maybe it's going to be Earl Anthony's day, Ken. I don't know, but those last two shots weren't the best he's ever thrown, but you don't have to throw them that well. Now, watch the love tap on this fourth pin. It goes over, and it doesn't fall down in the channel. It just leans back in the right direction. Hello. Little kiss there, and over goes the seven. So Anthony, still very much in this, is Sam Flanagan. Earl just looked back up here at me and gave me a big smile. He loved it. Up by 11. As we mentioned earlier, it's been since 1975 for this gentleman and a win. He's only won one. All right, and this week in the match play, he's defeated Earl twice, 203 to 200 and 268 last night in the position round to 237. 